Woo, woo. Yay. Friday, the 1st of June. Woo. So over here in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere, Southern, middle. <laughs> anyway, it's the first day of winter and it is a bit chillier today, which is lovely. I have um, slippers on, which is lovely. Um, I like all seasons. I just don't like the extremes of either. Hello, Cheryl Anderson here for Friday. Now today, the topic is something that I saw on a meme that came in through Facebook. Um, and it's it's very apt, actually. It um, I'm all about, you know, people understanding that they have power themselves in their lives. You're not powerless, although you've been trained to believe you are or led to believe that you are powerless as a human. And there couldn't be anything further from the truth. So the topic today is, what have I got here? Um, you either get better or you get bitter. It's that simple. Now, this is through any situation in your life. And look, some weeks you swear there's a dump truck outside just heaping it in, you know, crap on top of crap on top of crap. You just think, I just can't take any more. How can I take any more of this? It's insane. Now, what happens is like, you're always going to have things happen in your life, right? Um, not every day. I mean, we have sections of our life that are really good. But you're never going to stop things happening because you live on a planet with 7 billion people. Not that 7 billion are in your day, in your every day, but my, my uh, angle here is you're not on the planet alone. You don't interact just on your own. So with other people in the equation, then you're going to have to deal with situations that are not brought on by you. So, and we can get our nose out of joint. If it's somebody else has caused the problem, we, we want to blame and get really angry and decide, well, it's your bloody fault. You did this to me. In the end, like pointing the finger and blaming or finding fault in another gets you absolutely nowhere. Might make you feel good for that little moment. Now, what's happening in that moment is you're, you know, you're a bit stunned, you're a bit shocked, um, you're a bit, you know, taken aback. Something's happened, it's caught you off guard. It might be the fifth thing that happened today or this week. So you're just like reeling. Now, what happens is instead of just being, you know, sitting with it, like if something bad's gone on, just sit with it. Don't react straight away, okay? First, we want to react and scream and whatever or run away or cry or lash out or, you know, there's enough TV shows that show you all the different ways people handle stress. So if you can just simply sit with it or stand with it, which it, just quietly, it's okay. It's not going to kill you. All right. You're just going to sit with it, let it settle in your mind. Just keep your mouth shut. And keep your two eyes and your two ears open and keep your mind open. So what happens then is now you are responding instead of reacting, right? So you're going to have a lot more power if you learn to respond to something that's going on, whether it's your fault, you're not, not your fault, rather than just simply react. Now, who doesn't react seems to run along hand in hand with regret, all right? Because we, we've all done it where we said something, reacted to something, and later on went, oh, my God, wish I could take that back. So in back to the topic, you know, it can either make you better or bitter. Now, the choice is up to you. And there's plenty of people on the planet that have been through tragedy on top of tragedy, yet they triumph. They come out of it. They... You know, sure, there's scars, they have memories of it, they have, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of things change in people's lives when they've had to deal with extreme trauma or drama or, uh, you know, anything, um, a trauma, let's just call it trauma. Um, how you're going to choose to deal with it will be what you walk away with. All right? Do you want to walk away from a situation, it's already crap, 
it's already made you feel bad or cost you money or cost a friend or whatever. Wouldn't it be nice to walk away from the problem or, or, you know, move away from it as the days go on during the week, you know, and you move, you get a bit of distance. Wouldn't it be much better to actually leave with some learning and feel good about yourself afterwards for not just reacting, hi, welcome, but responding in a manner. Now, responding is where you have power. Reacting, forget it. You don't have much power there because it's just knee-jerk. It's okay in it maybe a, a crisis situation to react really fast. They're really good. Those are great situations. But when it's a problem, when it's a drama that's happened in your life, when someone's done something wrong or pick a problem, everyone's had the problems, the reacting, it will always come with some regret. It's just how it is. So in responding, one, like I said, if you sit with your problem just for a moment, so I can't even think of an example really quickly. Um, let's say someone's run into your car. And let's say it's someone that you know and you like. <laughs> so it makes it even harder. All right. So, you know, you uh, in that situation, a lot of people would be passive aggressive and do the thing and the, all the little quirks and ticks and what have you that are away. They're actually, that's a reaction. It's not a response. So instead of just sitting with it for a minute and going, okay, Betty Boo's just run into my car. I love Betty Boo, but shit, this is just not good, you know, for, for whatever reason, you know, I'm going to have to take it to the shop or I don't have the money to get it fixed or I don't have the time to not have my car. Because what's going to happen and what's going to follow next is going to follow next regardless of how you deal with it. But the choice is there to deal with it in the best way for yourself so that you come out of it with something of value and a, and a sense of self where you've dealt with it instead of just throwing your hands in the air, screaming, having a yelling match, all pissed off, oh, fuck you, fuck you, I can't believe you fucking did this. You know, I, this is the regret part, right? <laughs> and everyone, everyone on planet Earth, has suffered some form or some degree of regret for saying something that they shouldn't have. So in this situation, when you're deciding to sit with it and go, all right, I just need 10 minutes alone to digest this. So Betty, give me a minute. I just want to run upstairs and get a glass of water or I, I, I'm just going to go to the loo whatever, just remove yourself from the situation and give yourself some bloody breathing space, for God's sake. Just a moment to sit with it, right? You're angry, you're annoyed. Oh, my God, you're trying to take stock. Oh, shit, my car's just been run into. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's okay. It's your right to respond. But it's your obligation to yourself to, to do this in a manner that's going to be uplifting for you, that's going to make you a better person, not a bitter person because bitter is too easy that's too easy look at all the people out there bitter is so fucking easy all right you can just fall into that shit and you can be bitter up the wazoo you can be a gold medal bitterest where's it get you nowhere in fact it screws with your body screws with your mind screws with your sight it does dreadful things to your face so ladies <laughs> when you're being bitter you're being a little ugly and you look a little ugly too Look in the mirror. We've all done it when we're angry and you look and everything changes. The, ooh, your waters change. And just very small things like tiny little, even if we were made up of pixels, let's say, they all change colour. And to the human eye, we can see these things. All right. Now, in doing being positive about responding versus reacting, think about this for a minute. Every second, every second, your brain, your mind, is processing in the background two million bits of information every second. Now, as a human, it's a really wonderful life because our brain can, you know, we've got unconscious mind, subconscious mind, conscious mind. So we have this wonderful compartmentalization where we can just let in the things that keep us upright, 
breathing and functioning, okay? So the two million things happening are affecting the body. Hello, Marilyn. <laughs> Jackie, how you doing, girl? So now what's happening? So those things are happening around you all the time. That's why sometimes you can feel a bit, uh, but you're not quite sure why because your conscious mind's trying to find a reason for it. But actually what it is, it's one of the two million things going on. So always be patient with yourself, okay? There's a lot happening. So now in this situation, so two million things going on at once, right? When you decide to take the positive route, in this instant, in this story, in this example, it is to respond versus react. What happens is you activate the RAT, which is your reticular activating system. Now, what this is, is in your brain, whatever you believe. You know the saying, oh, I'll believe it when I see it, which is like you're not going anywhere with that attitude <laughs> and you're not starting up this system very well. But if you are, um, I'll see it when I believe it which is a very popular one nowadays because people are realising what they're saying, what they're thinking is what creates their emotions, which then creates their action. So in that moment of choosing to believe that there is another way out, believing that you can deal with this situation by responding, not reacting, it lights this up, the reticular activation system, now, then what happens is your brain starts then out of the two million bits of information that are hammering at you every second, it then knows to look for the bits of information that are the proof or the evidence of change. All right. Now, what happens? Let's go to this situation. You're back on the footpath with Betty Boo, your friend, who's run into your car and you love her but you're really, really angry about this running into my car. What starts to happen when you've come upstairs, you've given yourself a bit of time to sit with this emotion and not fly off the handle because it's going to pass. You go back down. Now, what starts to happen once you've activated in a positive manner the reticulative <laughs> activation system, the RAS, great things start to happen because, one, it brings your vibration up. And I'm always on about your vibration. This is the thing that changes your life every day. It's either up or it's down, all right? Good day, bad day. Having a great time, having a shit time, all right? It's all directly linked to your vibratory state. So once you've activated this in a positive manner, what happens is your brain starts seeing the evidence for you to stay on this positive path for the next breath and the next breath and the next breath and the next breath and the next breath someone stops it could be some bloke stops and says hey are you okay is everything okay you get chatting <laughs> you get chatting and he says oh look my brother's got a, a, a shop up here he's got a panel shop let me let me give him a call he could come and pick it up don't worry he can do that for free he, he do that all these wonderful things start to happen you walk up the road, next thing you find $50 in the gutter. I mean, I could keep rattling on things because I've had this stuff happen. I mean, I'm sure everyone's had situations where they just dug deep and thought, no, fuck this, I'm going the positive way. I'm so tired of the shit. If it, if it means I've got to pull my socks up and just hang in there with it, then I will because I'm sick of the crap. Then all this great starts to happen, doesn't it? So in back to the topic of today, like, so it's either going to make you bitter or better. Now, I can tell you flat out, your life's going to be better. You're going to be happier. You're going to look a lot better. You're going to live a lot longer. You're going to be less sick. Yes, yeah, see, Jackie knows. When you choose to treat yourself well and you choose to use these amazing systems that are within our bodies and our minds, Yes, I'm shit at the moment, been so sick. Oh, Marilyn, really? I mean, it's time. I'm, I've been meaning to call you. I'm such a slack ass. So to do that m music stuff. <laughs> anyway, back to, back to my live video. Um, the choosing, right, the choosing. Now, 
we have what um, I heard termed as years ago um, the human toolbox, which is all of these really super amazing things that we're capable of doing, but we are not taught. We have not been taught by pretty much anybody, let's face it. I mean, I had a great, I have a great mother who was very positive with me and taught me very positive ways to look at things when, when I was, you know, ever since. However, I live in a world that is designed and when you look deeper into this and you look beyond the media and beyond the brainwashing bullshit that goes on, you realise that all they're trying to do <laughs> is keep us away from this, the magnificence of us, the things we can do. I mean, not just levitate or uh, be on the other side of the universe in a flash. We can do all of this. We can transmute, we can turn our bodies into anything we want. We can regrow, uh, regrow limbs. I, I, I'm digressing, so I won't digress further because it's a very big conversation. But if you wanted more information, I can steer you towards some more information. Just message me. But I'm all about uh, myself. I want to know these things. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I have. I've had a lot of success in curbing crazy thoughts in understanding myself in slowing down and realizing what dialogue is ego what dialogue is me i mean that's a big thing too um life mainstream is a lot of um herding you in the direction that um the one percent the the ruling wankers at the top want which they're you know corporate nut jobs i mean it goes higher than that too but you're a you're a um, a consumer and you're a little slave that's all they want from you stay scared stay fearful go to work consume you know this or wear things or buy things or whatever but for god's sake don't learn about your magnificence because we can't control you if you're going to run around and be fabulous and great and uncontrollable when in truth we become much better humans when we start to look at these things within us because nothing about your greatness will ever, ever come from anything outside of your own skin. Ever. All of my great learnings and my epiphanies or any great physical stretch or emotional stretch that I've had always, always came from inside, not outside. So when I stopped looking for situations to make me feel better or people to make me feel better or uh, something I could buy to make me feel better, um bye doll yeah i'll see you soon i will we will talk bye marilyn so when i stopped looking outwardly to other people to and situations or items to fill me when i stopped doing that then i started to realize really quickly that i had the power to change anything and everything and so i started it became a mission to do this now um, my videos are always going to be about this kind of thing because I believe everybody makes great decisions for themselves. Everybody knows what they want, sort of, if you can get past the, the man, mind made fuck that goes on with any, if you're watching a screen, like I know you're watching now, it's, you know, computer, tablet, phone, TV, there, you know, TV was first designed as a, um, a brainwashing thing. It actually started off as brainwashing. That's why there's so, there were so many, um, what do they call them, things per minute, um, not scenes, I can't think of it. You know, it, it moves quickly. It's part of how they used to brainwash people. I know, it's pretty bad. And again, you know, if you want to learn more about that, I can steer you in that direction, but I won't go into it any further here. But it's all about control, control of the dollar and control of you, what you do. Me, I'm all about, screw that, be in control of your own self and your own destiny. So everything I talk about is always going to, it's going to take some effort. Hell yeah. So you can't just be a lazy prick and blame everybody else and, oh, my life's so bad because of my parents or, oh, my life's so bad, I had a bad husband or I had this dreadful job or a doctor said something or, I mean, you know, there's a million stories. But that's bullshit. You can stay there, that's fine, but you're not going to be happy. You're going to always be looking at the people that, you know, the grass is greener 
kind of thing. You're always going to be looking at the people that look happy and you think, how did they get that? I want that. I want a piece of what they have. Well, do you know what? That cake that you want, that's you, the insides of you. And, there's, and you can keep eating cake every day. You're never going to run out. There's always going to be more cake for you because your, um, your depths and the, the, the depths, the distance, the, um, it's very hard to speak this because it's an unusual concept. Who you are is so much greater than this meat suit that you're plugging around in. Ha, 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 planet Earth, here I am, Cheryl. Ha, 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 ha. The scope of who I really am is as big as the universe and as magnificent. Yet here I am in this life, plugging along, learning at the speed I do. And I decided that, you know what, I think everybody else deserves this as well. So that is my mission, is to bring clarity. And so people can realise that they, you don't have to follow the herd. You're not a sheep. <laughs> You're a human. And most of my viewers are women. We're even, I'm, okay, we're not more amazing than men. Men are amazing. All humans are amazing. However, women have a whole other depth that males don't have. It's as simple as that. We're a creator of the species. Without women, there is no one else on the planet. Think about that. It's a pretty lofty thought. There would be no one. Oh, people go, oh, but there'd be test tube babies. And if it, well, you needed to get the scientists here in the first place to start because they're not all women scientists, are they? Anyway, I digress. So, look, really, your life is always going to be how you decide to be responsible for it. It might seem outwardly that somebody else has screwed it up or fucked you over or, I don't know, done something that, you know, pushed your life off track. you just got to realise everything that comes to you is a lesson that you chose. And the sooner you get on with it without blaming and getting pissed off, because it's just a waste of time. It's not going to get you anywhere. Or find me someone that that whinging and moaning got them somewhere, somewhere real. So all I want is personal freedom and it's there for the taking and it's there for everybody. So anyway, that's my, my yam yam for today. <laughs> now I'm on a new channel today. Yes, yes, I meant to mention that. Um, I used to do my lives from my public page, my public Facebook page. I've now switched it across to my business page, which, you know, there's reasons for this, which I won't go into because it's a big, long yawn fest. Oh. <laughs> because I'm also launching my own TV show, which is going to be called Women's Emotional Freedom TV. So in order to do that, I needed to... Um, align a few platforms so that, you know, there's going to be a flow later on. So in the upcoming, uh, it should launch about the 1st of August. I mean, me, I'd love it tomorrow. However, there's a lot more to it <laughs> producing a TV show than what meets the eye. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's coming up. So get ready. You'll be seeing a bit about that in my posts. Uh, but for now, nothing's going to change my lives each week. There'll still be, um, you know, what is it? Um, uh, Monday, Friday, 1 p.m. Brisbane time. So that will stay the same. Thank you very much for migrating across. And as I've said in my posts, if you can, on my business page, like the page, and then right next to the like button is the follow button. Click that and there's a drop down. Please click see first. And then what happens is, all of my videos, you will automatically be notified. Now also do this as well. If you have people that you like their videos, but they're not showing up in your feed or you're missing them, what you've got to do is go to their page. You might like um, Jada Pinkett Smith's new Red Table videos, or you might like the, these are um, Facebook shows too, by the way, um, Returning the Favour with Mike Rowe. Now, he was the one that did Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe and he was the voiceover for Deadliest Catch, a couple of shows. Now, if you go to their pages, their um, Facebook pages, which will be a business page, 
this is one of the reasons I had to change is you can't do this on a private page on someone's, you know, just regular Facebook page. So you can go to their page, do the same thing, like it, follow it. And in the drop down menu from follow, click see first. And then what will happen is all those videos will show up in your feed. So there you go. That's a little lesson because <laughs> Facebook is just like crazy, man. There's so much going on, so much you can do so many bells and whistles that um boy you don't even know that you need but anyway they make up a big jigsaw and in the end i'll have a big jigsaw and it'll all go together and i'll be fantastic so anyway thank you for coming in today it's been lovely chatting um i look forward to seeing you all again on friday now again if you like the videos please share that would be lovely they are now set to public so anyone can view these and again, like I said, this is information mainly for women about emotional freedom and about being able to find the very small things that you can do in your life, the very small steps that get you places that you want to be. Because sometimes, you know, a lot of the motivational speakers, they talk about these big grand things. Yes, do this and that and that. Oh, la, 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 la. You know, to get from here to there is just crazy sometimes. Yeah. Hey, Kay, how you doing? <laughs> so, you know, we, as women too, we don't think the same way as men. So, you know, having goals is not a thing women can do. Simple as that. We are predictably unpredictable. That's how it works. So getting these little tidbits of information, what happens is because we are supreme thinkers or women are supreme thinkers, is we take these little things in because these are the little stepping stones that get you where you want to go. And then you can build your own loftier dreams and, uh, you know, things you want to do by all means. So anyway, back to, um, oh, look, it's only 27 minutes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. So it's Friday, weekend ahead. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend, a safe weekend for that. And I'll be back again on Monday, 1 p.m. for my live. So take care, everybody. Thank you very much. It was good seeing you all. Be well, have an excellent weekend and au revoir.